In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Google Pixel 6a. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. Huge shout out to Google and Team Pixel for actually sending this device out. This is a gift from Google, so I can go ahead and review this, but huge shout out to y'all. Really appreciate you guys over there. You guys are consistently just sending these things out to uh, the Team Pixel members, and I appreciate you guys. But we have the Pixel 6a right here, and we have this in sage or sage green. We do have a couple other colors, which are chalk and charcoal on this device. So getting into this, we have the Tensor chipset inside of here, six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. So we are definitely packed as far as the storage and RAM goes. We also have an OLED display on here. It's going to be 1080p and this is going to be a 6.1 inch phone. So it is going to be a little bit smaller, not the smallest phone in the world, obviously, since we have a bunch of phones that are pushing seven inches right now, but we have stereo speakers on this device. We have three years of operating operating system updates and five years of security patches on this device. So we should be good with this phone for the foreseeable future. And right now Google has a little special going on on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description down below if you guys would like to pick it up. But they have the Pixel 6a for $449 and you also get the Pixel Buds, the A series one. So at a $99 value, I think that's pretty good. What virtually makes this a $349 phone, which is definitely now in competition with the Galaxy A53. And uh, I think this may be a little bit more consistent. We're gonna do some tests and everything. We're gonna see which one is better, obviously. Uh, cause I feel like a lot of people want to see that obviously the refresh rate and some other things on the a 53 is going to be better, but for the most part, I feel like the six a is probably going to be a better deal. And they do have the iPhone SE, the new one for 429 and a couple other phones that are a little bit cheaper. So we got to do some comparisons later on, but this is just merely the unboxing of this phone. And we're going to go ahead and take the top off of this phone. We have this beautiful sage color. Now I don't think any other company does it like Google as far as like the designs of phones and just the way they make them really really nice looking phone right here and I'm sure this is going to feel good even though they said the back of this device is going to be made out of plastic it feels like glass still and it feels super substantial in hand we're gonna go ahead and put that phone to the side but inside of the box it looks like we have our manuals so yeah we do have our manuals inside there we have those little square really really cool manuals i think the design of everything inside of the box looks nice obviously we have the sim ejector tool right there and we have the transferring tool from usb a to type c and we also obviously have type c to type c and no charging adapters so that kind of sucks getting into the camera on this device right here as you guys can see we have that little pill right there that shows you the camera the main one is going to be a 12.2 megapixel wide camera and the second one is going to be a 12 megapixel ultra wide uh, as well as obviously our flash right here. We have our Google emblem and we have this beautiful looking back. Honestly, I think Google's designs are the most unique ones. I don't think the A53 looks that good. Honestly, I thought it was fugly this year to be quite honest. So. There's that. Right side of the phone, we have our power button. Just below that, we have the volume up and down rocker. Of course, bottom of the phone, we have our USB type C port, as well as our speakers right there. And this is gonna have stereo speakers, and we're gonna test those out in a little bit. Left side of the phone, we have our SIM tray. Great to see that there. And we also have our noise canceling mic. I'm just gonna take this off. <laughs> and of course we have our display and we're gonna go ahead and boot up the phone and show you guys what's in store in a second so we have the display right here this is going to be a 60 Hertz display so no 120 no 90 uh, still think the display looks really good in my honest opinion but we're gonna go ahead and get inside of the phone right here now going through the UI obviously stock Android very snappy this is gonna be a very quick experience especially with the tensorship and the six gigabytes of RAM inside of this device um, I feel like most people or the average Average buyer of this device isn't going to even care that this is a 60 Hertz refresh rate honestly a lot of different devices especially you know ones that are kind of in this price range do 60 Hertz displays but they look horrid on an OLED display on the pixel it honestly I can't really tell if it's 60 or 90 to be quite honest it's just super snappy great experience on this device so far as far as going through the UI obviously Android 12 straight out of the box and we have I believe three software updates uh, right after that now compared to the Galaxy A53 
5G. That device is obviously gonna get four different updates, but we have our camera right there, smack dab in the middle. Great to see that right here. Obviously, we have some pretty decently sized bezels on here. This is gonna be an 83% screen to body ratio. Now, as far as the front facing camera goes, we do have an eight megapixel front facing camera that's capable of shooting uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second. The rear, forgot to tell you guys that, 4K at 60 frames per second. So we do have some pretty good filming capabilities right there. And we're gonna go ahead and take a photo real quick. As far as like the point and shoot camera, this is going to be a much better camera than the Galaxy A53. As far as the consistency goes, um, the A53's camera is really good, but I just think, you know, as far as like, if I just wanted to point this at something and take a good shot and you know, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna get a good photo. I would go with the Pixel 6a, honestly. Um, on paper, I think the A53 says it's a better camera, but in all honesty, I could probably recommend the Pixel 6a, but we'll do a comparison later on and we'll definitely let you guys know. But obviously, super fast shutter speed on the camera. Camera's gonna be great nonetheless. Uh, but we're going to get into the speakers on this device and we are going to get into the video quality and then probably call it a day, honestly. I will be doing the full review pros and cons videos and a bunch of other videos like that and comparisons, obviously. So if you guys want me to compare this to specific phone, leave it in the comment section down below. Now we do have some cons on this phone. Obviously, we told you this doesn't have a 60 hertz refresh rate, but we also don't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we do not have wireless charging. So if that is a deal breaker for you, you may wanna go with something different. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't, I don't care that it doesn't have wireless charging. I don't really use wireless charging. Um, and the headphone jacks, I use my Google Buds, so don't really care. But let's go ahead and test out the speaker. Now this does have stereo speakers, so we're gonna be utilizing the headset up there as well as the speakers at the bottom of the phone, so super hyped about that. Also, 18 watt fast charging on this device and a 4,410 milliamp battery. So you have the speaker on max. So speaker quality is great. Probably the best sounding speaker under $500. Um, very captivating, very crisp, and very loud as well. So you guys aren't going to be disappointed with the speaker at all. Amazing speaker. And as far as the resolution on this display, this is an OLED display, 1080p Full HD. I believe this does have HDR as well, and we can watch videos up to 60 frames per second. But the display looks beautiful on this. Great colors, great saturation. Uh, we got some deep blacks in here as well. So some pretty good stuff for the display right here. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be this good, but definitely uh, definitely nice looking display on here. A couple other things before I close out this video. Uh, as far as the fingerprint sensor goes, yes, it's not as good as the Galaxy A53. It's a little bit slower as far as the under display fingerprint sensor, but honestly, I can deal with it. Uh, one thing about this is Haptic feedback is great on this. So the vibration and haptic feedback on this phone is probably the best I've seen at this price tag. Since so many companies don't know how to make mid-range phones with good haptic feedback, it always feels so cheap, but this device feels super premium. Also, design of this device, beautiful design. I think Pixel uh, does it best for their budget and mid-range devices. I don't think there's anyone better at designing phones, giving them colors and other things like that. But as everything stands right here, uh, going into Amazon and picking this up for $449, with those Pixel Buds, I think this is an excellent deal, especially since you're getting a $99 value with the Pixel Buds already. And uh, this phone's virtually $349 after. So I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys. Uh, so far, phone's looking good. We do have a few other competitors that we're going to compare. And if there's any other videos or any phones that you want me to compare to the Pixel 6a, let me know in the comments section down below. But hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.